I started with three pieces of inch and a half, 10 foot long PVC pipe. I cut those three pieces in half, then took one of the pieces that I cut in half and cut in half again, giving me four pieces. So I wound up with four five foot long pieces and four two and a half foot long pieces. So this is what I started with. The tools I needed, a saw, Gorilla tape, and a knife. I had a 12 foot piece of flexible drainage tubing. And I bought a pack of assorted sizes of bungee cables. Two elbows one and a half inch and two one and a half inch four-way PVC ties. Insert one PVC pipe of the five foot long into the four-way tie. Next, insert the two and a half foot long pieces into the ends of the four-way tie. Okay, so now your base is assembled. And it should look like a big H. Insert the one and a half inch elbow on the top of each side. Next, insert the five foot cross piece into the elbows. So now you have your stand completed and it should look like this. The corrugated drainage pipe, I bought a four inch by 12 foot section. It comes compressed, so you just have to stretch out, pull it and stretch it out to the length that you want. So mine is a little about nine and a half feet long. Cut off what you don't need. Let's hook them together. So now I have my basic circle hoop. Then what I'm going to do is take some Gorilla Tape and tape it right around where I inserted one pipe into the other. After taping the end, now I have my hoop. Now I fasten one of the bungee cords, wrap it around, and hook it. Wrap the bungee cord around the hoop and hook it. thing I like about the bungee cords is it makes it really easy to adjust the height of the hoop. This particular pack of bungee cords had a little two little mini bungee cords, which worked out really well because I put those on the side and hooked the bungee cord to them. All right, after hooking the bungee cords, you have your jump. You can work with the bungee cords and the flexibility of the pipe to make the hoop as completely circular as you would like. This is good enough for my purposes. The jump was built uh, the same way. I used a half inch PVC pipe. Once again, three by 10 length. Cut them in half. Then cut one section in half again, giving me four two and a half foot pieces and two five foot pieces. And then I cut another piece in half again to give me the sides. Um, if I had to do it again, I would use one inch PVC pipe, make it a little bit bigger and dirty. Now what I used for this was spring clamps. I really like the spring clamps because I can adjust the height of the jump really easily and quickly. Plus, the bar sits on the spring clamp. 
So if the dog is jumping over it and doesn't make the jump, it falls off without hurting the dog. But yet, it it's pretty sturdy. You know, it's not going to fall off unless the dog really bounds into it. This is a 18 foot dog tunnel that I bought on Amazon for $35. Come on, Scotty! Good girl! Go! Good girl, good girl.